Hello everyone. In this video, we will learn about some asymptotic functions. That is, uh, there are three notations: big O notation, big omega notation, then theta notation. These notations are very important in arithmetic. At first, this is big O notation. Uh, this is used as a upper bound of a function. This is big omega notation. This works as a lower bound of a function. Then theta function. This is average bound of a function. The functions are must be in these classes. At first, we will learn big big O function. As per the definition, the function f of n is equal to big O the g of n if and only if there exists a positive constants c and n not such that f of n less than or equal to c into g of n. For all x greater than or equal to x naught. Here, uh, if we take any function, the function must be in these classes or multiple of these classes. See one example. If I have f of n is equal to any function, uh, I take three n plus five. Our condition is this f of n must be less than or equal to some constant c into g of n, right? So this function 3n plus 5 must be less than or equal to some function. Moreover, one important condition is here. There is two terms, but we have this here the function must be in a single term and take um, 10n. This is a single term function and this function is greater than or equal to this function, right? Uh, if we take n is equal to 1, here 10 into 1 means 10. 3 plus 5, 3 into 1 that is 3 plus 5 that is 8. Clearly 8 less than or equal to 10. So this function is greater than or equal to this one. Um, here this is f of n. That is less than or equal to this is constant c and this is g of n right this is our condition from here we can write f of n is equal to big o of g of n here what is the g of n this n is a g of n so big o of n and a n plus 5 is less than or equal to some 15 into n or 100 into n, 1000 into n, you can take any values. This is c, this is g of n, this is f of n. It's clearly f of n is less than or equal to c into g of n. So we can write f of n is equal to big O of, here the g of n is n. So big O of n. We, uh, there is no condition you have to use only n. We can use uh, n square also. If 3n plus 5 is less than or equal to some 8 into no 9 into n square. Here the constant is 9. G of n is n square. This is f of n. Here also our condition satisfied. So we can write f of n is equal to big O of here the g of n is n square, right? So I, I take O big O of n square. This all or this all values are true. We can take any value. You can apply 2 power n, 3 power n, n power n. That is f of n is equal to big O of 2 power n, big O of 3 power n. The, these all functions are true. But we will take the nearest value, that is closest value to the function, the given function. That is the here we have the closest value is big O of n. So, we, this is the nearest value. So, we will take this function. Okay. Also, one simple idea to find the function. Here, we have 3n plus 5, right? So, uh, I am going to take this is 3n and this is 5n. That is 3n plus 5n. That is 8n. So, this is the least function that is greater than or equal to this function 3n plus 5. If you take 7n, then the function must be less than or equal to this. So, this is the least function greater than or equal to 3n plus 5. 
here take 3n plus 5 is less than or equal to 8n if you take n is equal to 1 then this is 8 this is also 8 that is equal 3 8 is equal to 8 f of n equal to g of n if you take 2 here 16 here uh, 3 times are 6 plus 5 11 so 11 is less than 16 so this is the least greatest value of g of n here also f of n is equal to big O of n. These all are true, true, but we have to take the nearest value. That the nearest value is big O of n for this function. Okay, this is big O notation. This is very easy to identify. We will use in this the further theorems. That's why I am taking this class. Next, we will see about big omega function. This is works as a lower bound of a function the function as per the definition the function f of n is equal to big omega into g of n if and only if there exists a positive constants c and n naught such that f of n is greater than or equal to c into g of n for all n greater than or equal to n naught in big omega function the condition is f of n is less than or equal to c into g of n for big omega function, the f of n is greater than or equal to c into g of n. Let's see an example. I am take the same value. For example, f of n is equal to 3n plus 5. Here, the function 3n plus 5 must be greater than or. That is, this function must be less than this one, right? So, for that I take um, some 6n. This is f of n as usual. This is 6 is constant c and this is n is g of n. So we can write f of n is equal to big omega of n. Mm, I can take log n also. Log n or root n that there all must be less than or equal to n. So 3n plus 5 is greater than or equal to mm, some simply take root n if you apply 1 this is 1 and this is 3 plus 5 8 so it's clearly greater than 8 is greater than or equal to 1 if you take this is root 2 that is 1.44 something this is 3 to the 6 plus 5 11 clearly this is a greatest function so our condition satisfied here the constant is 1 and this is a g of n this is f of n. So, our condition satisfied. So, we can write f of n is equal to big omega of here g of n is root n. So, big omega of root n. <coughs> like this, we can take many values, but we have to choose the nearest one. Here, the nearest one is this. How I am choosing the nearest one? Here also the n function. So, I this is this n function is must be a nearest one so this is the nearest one we have to, we will take the nearest one but this all are true you can write this also 3n plus 5 greater than or equal to 1 clearly right so our function equal to big omega of 1 this is also true but we will take the nearest one that is this one the nearest one Next, um, we will see then average function, that is theta function. As per the definition, the function f of n is equal to theta of g of n, if and only if there exists a constant c1, c2 and n not such that c1 into g of n less than or equal to f of n less than or equal to c2 into g of n for all n greater than or equal to n not. This, let's see an example. I am taking the same example that is 3n plus 5. You can understand it clearly. Mm. Here c1 into g of n. From the lower bound function, I take that 6n, right? This is less than or equal to this. So 6n is less than or equal to 3n plus 5 is less than or equal to from the upper bound condition, I take some 8n or 10n something this is c1 this is 
g of n is less than or equal to this is our f of function f of n is less than or equal to this is constant to and this is g of n so our condition obtained which implies we can write f of n is equal to theta of here g of n is n here g of n is n so we can write theta of n moreover here is a one important condition is here that is we cannot take the any function here that is here the function is in n terms n class so here also the function must be belongs to the n class we cannot take the n square class or n cube class or some here we cannot take in log n class if you take the function here the function i take f of n is equal to some 3n square plus 5 that is 3n square plus 5 means here also the function must be belongs to the n square class and here also the function must be belongs to the n square class then only we take the average function f of n is equal to theta into theta of n i hope you will clear in this notations